Hey guys, I, I need to share this teaching with you. I, I just need to let this come out because I, I'm so frustrated. I, there is something that really can frustrate me and, and I just experienced it again. Uh, somebody was coming one of my videos on the Pioneer School about baptism where they say that I'm a false prophet because I said baptism is necessary and then it came the thing that really frustrated me also is because he said, because the robber on the cross did not get baptized. But that line, what about the robber on the cross? <laughs> that line can really frustrate me because I've heard it again and again and again. There's so many, many, many times where we have been preaching the gospel to people and we have uh, been preaching what the word is saying and then the same group of people from the same church background, often the same place, say the same. What about the robber on the cross? So we really need to look at that. What about the robber on the cross? Yes, but you, the robber on the cross did not get baptized correctly. Do you know who also did not get baptized? Kong David, Joseph, Benjamin. And his brothers did not get baptized. Eliza did not get baptized. Job did not get baptized. The woman at the well did not get baptized. Everyone before the cross, before the old covenant started, did not get baptized to Jesus Christ because there was no baptism at that time. And baptism was not what God had commanded them. So, you have to understand this. We often get confused with, with the Bible because we have a Bible today who have been put together, a lot of books put together, and we have divided it up and we call it the Old Testament, the New Testament. But you have to understand Testament, this is covenant. Covenant or Testament. The New Testament is not the New Testament. The New Testament is not the New Covenant. The New Testament still starts in the Old Covenant. Matthew, Mark, John, Luke and, so, and those Gospels are before the New Covenant, before Jesus died on the cross. So to use the robber on the cross, it, but we often, you have heard that, yeah, what about the robber on the cross? But you have never heard people say, yeah, what about Job? Or what about Con David? Or what about... Benjamin, what did he do? Well, nobody of them is an example for us to follow today. Because God did not say to any one of those people that they needed to get baptized to Jesus Christ. Because there was no baptism to Jesus Christ. If you look in the Old Testament, Old Covenant, before the cross, there was people who got baptized to John. But those people who got baptized to John, they was a repentance baptist. They got rebaptized later to Jesus Christ. Read Book of Acts, chapter 19. But there was another guy who got baptized in the Old Testament, and that was Naaman. Because Naaman had leprosy, he was sick. And the prophet Eliza said to him, that God is saying that he have to go and dip himself seven times in Jordan and he will be free. When Naaman heard that, he was like, no, 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 I, I don't want to. No, no, just put your hands upon me. Do something else. I don't want to do that. But in the end, he did it. And this is good. Because in the end, he came to his right mind and understood, okay, if God is saying that that is what I need to do, then is what that I what I need to do. So he went and dipped himself seven times in Jordan. And do you know what happened? When he came out, he was free. So Naaman got cleansed for his leprosy. And we know leprosy is a picture of sin that is now killing us. How did he get cleansed? When he dipped himself in Jordan. Why? Because it was what God said to him that he should do. The woman, the, the widow, Eliza met, did not 
baptize herself or dip herself in Jordan. Why? Because it was not what God told her to do. And the same with Kong. David, he did not do it because it was not what God told him to do. And Joseph and Benjamin and so on. And the rob on the cross, he did not get baptized. Why? Because it was not what God told him to do. And again, there was no baptism to Jesus Christ at that time. So you had to understand that the robber on the cross is a really, really bad example when it comes to what we need to do today. And every time I hear people who say, yeah, what about the robber on the cross? To be honest, sorry, just show how little they understand of the Bible, where the new covenant is starting where the old covenant is ending. The new covenant is not starting in the New Testament, in that book in Matthew chapter 1 verse 1. The new covenant is really starting on the cross. Because, again, follow me, nobody in the old covenant before the cross got baptized to Jesus Christ. Why? Because the new covenant baptism is a picture of Jesus dying on cross get buried and rise up again and the robber could not do that because there was no Jesus dying get buried and rise up again because Jesus was then still hanging on the cross so him and everybody from that time on and backwards could not get baptized because there was no baptism to Jesus Christ. Like they could not receive the Holy Spirit because there was no baptism with the Holy Spirit because Jesus had not ascended to heaven. So you had to understand it. And uh, oh, it just frustrates me every time I hear it. And, 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 and the rub of the cross have really blinded so many people because we have used that example in church to say that baptism is not necessary is a really really bad example to use now we are living after the cross jesus died he got buried and he rose up again and because he rose up again and he ascended to heaven we today like Naaman and like everybody else need to obey what God is saying to us. What do God say to us? He said now that we need to repent from our sins, get baptized to Jesus Christ and receive the Holy Spirit. Why complicate it? This is what God is saying to us. God is not saying the same to us as he said to Eliza, as he said to King David. God is saying to us what we need to do. And when we like Naaman obey God's word, we will obey also get cleansed from our liberty or our sin and, and but but Tom don't you believe it's the blood of Jesus who save us yeah I do but but how do we put on the blood of Jesus like we take blood or oh, was a certain blood how, how do we put on the blood of Jesus you have to understand the picture in uh, one of the first miracles Jesus did in Mark, I think it was, was heal a guy from leprosy. And leprosy is again a picture of sin. And when Jesus healed that guy on leprosy, he said that he, that guy now need to go to the priest and give the offer Moses had described for people when they get cleansed from leprosy. And what was interesting, if you go and see what that offer was, it's a really beautiful picture. He needed to take two birds and he needed to kill one of the birds and put the blood in a, like a bow or what is called in English. And then he took the living bird and dipped it in the blood of the dead bird and then that living bird could fly free. The blood of Jesus save us jesus needed to die one man needed to die so by his blood we who are guilty can go free there was two birds one needed to die from the other birds to go free jesus needed to die from us to go free and how do what do god say to us we need to do today we need to obey him why complicate it? The blood of Jesus is Jesus who saves us. And he says, the one who believes and is baptized shall be saved. What about just obeying him? Peter, when he stood up, and if, if you go after the cross, after the new 
covenant and see what God is now saying to us who are living in this time. It was always baptism. Repent and get baptized so you receive the Holy Spirit. And after the cross, you, you see Galatians is saying that in baptism we put on Christ. Romans is saying that in baptism we die with Christ and rise up with Christ. If, if you, there's so many strong words. Peter is saying that the water of baptism now saves you. And Jesus himself is saying that one who believes and baptized shall be saved. Why complicate it? But what we often do, we then, oh, the robber on the cross. Forget that. Every time you hear people say that, what about the robber on the cross? Then say, what about Con David? And people look at you, what do you mean? What about Con David? Why use his example? Yeah, why use the robber on the cross example? Because God did not say to the robber on the cross that he needed to get baptized. God did not say to the robber on the cross that he needed the Holy Spirit. But God is saying that to us today who is living here. And if Jesus is our Lord, we obey him. And this is the problem with religion. We take one verse and then we take the clear picture we see in the rest of the world and put it all away. Like another example. Oh, I also get frustrated of that. Corinthians. Yeah, but Paul said, I did not come to baptize, but to preach Christ. You see, baptism is not important because Paul said this. Ah, try to understand it correctly. Okay, read text in context. You can only understand a text if you read it in context. Paul did not say that he never baptized people. Paul did, Paul did not say that baptism is not important. He said to that church at that point, there that he did not come to baptize to preach Christ. That do not mean that baptism was not important and that Paul did not baptize and that people did not need to get baptized. Because in context, people are discussing who they got baptized by. Barnabas, Christ, Paul. And Paul is saying like Christ had not been divided. and It's all about Christ, Christ, Christ. And therefore he said what he said. Okay, let me explain it. I was in America a short time ago. I was preaching the gospel. There were many people who came and heard the gospel, repented and want to get baptized in water and receive the Holy Spirit like you read in the book of Acts. But there was a few people who came to me and said, Tom, we want you to baptize us. We want you to baptize us. And I said to them, no, no, because I did not come to baptize. I came to preach Christ. Did that mean that I never baptized? No, because I often baptize people. Do that mean that they did not get baptized? No. But why do I quote Paul there and why did I say what I said? Because I don't want them to have that idea that is important who they get baptized by. It's not important who baptized, if it was Paul or so on, it's important who you get baptized to. And this is how the text should understand, like how we understand the text in Corinthians. Paul often baptized, he often do it, and those people, when he said, I did not come to baptize, but to preach Christ, do not mean that they did not get baptized. You read the text, they got baptized. But he said it because they were discussing who they got baptized to, and that is not important. What is who they got baptized by? The importance is that you get baptized to Jesus Christ. And I will quote Paul every time somebody comes to me and say, Torben, I want you to baptize. It's important you baptize me. Then I will say, no, nope, I let other people baptize. I came to preach Christ and other people baptize. Do you understand it? Oh, sometimes you just get so frustrated of, of religion and, 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 and so on. Please understand, New Covenant, New Testament do not start in Mark, John, Luke, and so on, chapter 1. It starts after the cross. The gospel is a transition time between the old and the new. After the cross, after Jesus died, got buried and rose up again, you see the full package when Peter stood out on Pentecost and preached and tried to go through the book of Acts and see what they were preaching. It was not the sinner's prayer. It was not just believe in the blood of Jesus and don't do anything else and you are saved. It was not that they did not baptize people and quote Paul all the time. And when try, try to imagine Peter stood up at Pentecost and they asked, what shall we say? Repent, get baptized to Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you receive the Holy Spirit. 
when he said that, everybody was saying, no, 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 what about the rub on the cross? This is what is happening today, it's so sad. So again, go and see the Pioneer School, see the teaching we have there and understand what the Word is saying and be not, do not be deceived by religion, be not be deceived by church tradition. Go in the Book of Acts and see how they preached the Gospel and what they did when they responded to the Gospel. And there you see that they all repented, they turned away from their sins, and they all got baptized the same moment, the same day. Like we had just baptized a whole family from Norway who saw our video a few days ago and came down from Norway and five people just got baptized and spoke in tongues and I just heard the story. Okay, it's just a greeting here from, uh, from Denmark. Some, oh, get frustrated sometimes. Read the Bible, understand where new and old starts, see the pioneer school and see you. Another time. Bye-bye.